I discovered an amazing place in southern Morocco. Sous Massa. A land of genuine unspoiled beauty. A place to get away from it all. My journey begins in Agadir, one of the world's most beautiful natural bays. Along the coast of the north, I discover beautiful beaches, sustainable for all different types of activities. Leaving the coast, I travelled inland toward Imuzer, capital of the Ida Utanan mountain region. Within minutes, the scenery changes. The road rises and then dips to reveal an enchanting valley of treasures, palm groves, waterfalls, and the largest explored cave in Africa. In addition to an exceptional natural environment, the area is home to amazing sites such as the largest and oldest artisanal beehives in the world. I continue my journey to Tarudant, 100 kilometers further south. On the way, I come across fields of Aragon trees. The region is a large Aragon tree reserve and is classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is also a center for sustainable and responsible tourism. Native to southern Morocco, the fruit of these trees produce a rare and precious oil, suitable for use in cooking and cosmetics. One such example is amul, a paste made of argan oil, honey and ground roasted almonds. It's a real treat. Here I am in Tarudant, also known as Little Marrakesh. Behind the majestic ramparts lies a charming town with lively markets. A short donkey ride away, I discover the palm grove of Tiut and its kasbah with date palms that stretch as far as the eye can see. Continuing south, I arrive in Tata. where I happily discover a beautiful palm grove. The change of scenery is 180 degrees. Hiking trails abound through the heart of unspoiled countryside. Also noteworthy are Tata's handicrafts, as seen in the architecture of the houses, with their tatui, or colourful wooden ceilings, typical of the area. I admire the quality of the artisanal pottery, made using traditional methods. Further south, Akka is worth the trip with its oasis and 12th century minaret. It also has other treasures to reveal, fascinating and well-preserved petroglyphs or a majestic citadel that stands on the edge of the rocky cliff. The warm welcome gives hospitality a new meaning. Pushing further into the rocky desert, I continue in the direction of Tisint. I feel like I'm at the end of the world. The views are breathtaking. After driving for kilometers, I arrive at a timeless encampment. I left myself be carried away by the captivating rhythms of the Ahwash music, an unforgettable experience. I resume my journey towards the province of Tiznit. The road winds along the lush valley with orch houses clinging on the rocks on the mountainside. 
In Tafraut, the rocks are painted and the mountains take on forms. A few kilometers from Tafraut, an unusual rock formation known as Napoleon's Hat overlooks the picturesque village of Agar Udad. Within minutes, the scenery changes. The new valley dotted with picturesque villages reveals its charms to me. I find myself in a real life garden of Eden, with all my senses awakened. Staying with the local population, I am totally immersed in their customs and traditions. The women bake a delicious bread with almonds, using centuries-old recipes, while I take in time to savor the mint tea. I leave Tafraud in the direction of Tiznit, with this enchanting old city, surrounded by ramparts dating from the 19th century. Morocco's finest silver jewelry is made by local craftsmen. The Tiznit region also attracts visitors in search of the authentic way of life. The many inns and guest houses are havens of peace, both inviting and comfortable. I head back north to the province of Stuka Eit Baja. Finally, there they are, the famous Iguda. These collective granaries, veritable fortresses, contain the crops so essential to village life. Among these granaries, Tizurgan is a 13th century architectural jewel nestled on top of the rock hill, one of my favorites. Nearby, I discover a lively market, where craftsmen excel in the production of traditional leather slippers. Each one is a work of art. Taking Route 1 along the coast to the north, I travel to Inuzgan, a city known for its commerce. With its many markets, it has become a center for the trade of fruits and vegetables from all over Morocco. A few kilometers from the coast is the entrance to a nature reserve, a protected area, a small practice, a small paradise for local wildlife. My journey ends at the Massa River, which flows past pristine beaches into the Atlantic. I'm already thinking of my next trip to the heart of this incredible region, the Sousse Massa.